Bienvenidos. This is the Retirement Mentality Channel. This is a place where I want to change your mentality about retirement. You don't work for 60 years and get a gold watch and the pension the way your parents probably did. Today it's about creating passive income, creating wealth, and trying to get out of the rat race as quick as possible. This is one step towards it that I'm doing here. This is the house that I own in Puerto Rico. I do a lot of my my goal is to 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 create financial independence through real estate investing. So if those are things that are uh, that you're interested in, then this is a channel for you. So thank you for coming by today. <coughs> Excuse me. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my house in Puerto Rico and show you the updates on the what's been going on with my remodel and the construction over the past eight months. It's been taking a while. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you right now. Hey guys, I just want to jump in here real quick before I start the tour. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying these Puerto Rico videos. I have over 100,000 views on these Puerto Rico videos combined, but I still only have viewership in the 2000s. So please hit that subscribe button if you like these. The more people subscribe, the more videos I can make. And hit that big old thumbs up button down there if you like the videos. Okay, here comes the tour. Okay, let's start in the front yard here. You can see that we have demoed the front porch. And... This used to be like a really thick, oh, look at this guy. He's one of my biggest fans. It used to be a thick texture like this, if you can see this texture on here. So we had them, I don't know if actually what they did here. They must have scraped it off and then added this new wall board over the top and they did it on the front of the house here as well it looks so much better they must have scraped the old texture off and then put this board on there but it looks really good updated doesn't look like 1980 anymore and then we used to have glass block miami vice style here we tore that out we're gonna put some sort of like metal cables or something in here and then we had super groovy uh tile walkway like 80 style no more like 60 style we tore that out we're going to reconcrete this so here's where the updates start happening we have um retiled all of this and then we use the same tile that carries right in to the entryway there used to be another miami vice glass block uh, railing here so you had to go into this room which most of the people in the neighborhood use this as a living room, but we are gonna make this into the fourth bedroom. We're gonna probably have two kings or two queens or a king and a bunk bed in here. We haven't quite decided. Sorry for the echoey acoustics, but this is all painted. We painted this since we've been here for this trip. So it's looking fresh and clean and new in here. We got new lights coming to replace these everything here is just utilitarian but so this was a whole well we'll get into that later we did this little decorative element on the stairs which i think looks cool this just got done actually first time we've seen it and da -da -da -da, our kitchen cabinets got installed but one major problem, they are the wrong color. These bottoms are supposed to be, see, I don't know if you can tell, these are bright white glossy, and these are supposed to be dark gray glossy, and they are light gray matte finish. So we are in, I'll just say negotiations with the cabinet company to see what they're going to do to fix this problem also it's just so disappointing like nothing no soft closed doors this was supposed to be two cabinets that open up like this but instead it's one cabinet that's right it's our liquor cabinet don't judge it's one cabinet that opens up like this which i don't mind but we're going to use finger pull not not holes that screw in like this that 
screw in the back and it's just a little piece of uh, metal that comes up like this. And I'm not sure if we have room there. Anyway, we'll see. But we're waiting to find out what the cabinet people say. Uh, this was our electrical box debacle. Our contractor moved it over here. He wasn't supposed to. So now we have two huge electrical boxes in the kitchen, but we'll get that figured out. We're working on the lighting still, but this is our first trip here where we had a working refrigerator and a microwave, which we didn't even use, but we're making progress. So moving on, this bedroom, we just got done painting. So it's all updated and painted as well. I put cool lights in all the rooms too. watch this. They're all LED lights, so I can't tell in the daylight as much, but it changes colors. And we still have this termite problem. This has to all be replaced. They're, I think these are active termites because they're just continuing to eat this. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the termite trail up there. So we still got to replace that. Air conditioning in all the bedrooms. Here's a big improvement you haven't seen. Guest bathroom completed. We got black fixtures, black tile. We have the black pebble floor. Looks really tight. And then this is all white tile with no grout lines. Well, very small grout lines. And one thing is missing. There's no light in here. So we got to figure out what to do for a light. I don't know how that got overlooked. And last time we were here, they couldn't figure out how to get the uh, faucet, the drain to work because this was so skinny. But anyway, they got it figured out. Not too much to report in here. This bedroom is painted, fresh, clean, new. Say hi. Um, she's packing. We have to leave today. Uh, the master, big improvements in here. We've got the floating bed constructed. I just built this. I built it myself because I couldn't find any bed frames that I liked that seemed like they were sturdy enough to withstand being a rental unit. So this baby is rock solid. It's built out of two by 12 on the bottom. Two by six on top, but all two by four construction. I'll uh, I'll link to a video. I'm actually making a video on how to build this bed. I'll link to it up here if you're interested in building a floating bed like this. But it turned out really good. And then I used the same paint from the floating bed on the barn door. This turned out really good as well. black <clears throat> excuse me black magic is the color so here is the master bath we have the floating vanity in here with dual sinks and the shower this is tile looks kind of like i don't know if it looks like concrete or granite or what but it's really shiny and smooth Looks really cool with the white. So we're really, and we put the same pebble floor in the shower here. So we are digging the bathroom. There used to be a wall here. And so the bathroom, <clears throat> the bathroom actually, <clears throat> excuse me, the bathroom actually stopped here and there was just a vanity here. And then this was, empty space and then that right there line was a closet so we tore out the closet extended the vanity over and ended up with this and it looks good we still got to put some kind of a transition piece here but we're digging the master bedroom digging the master bathroom looks really good And that's the stove. 
we gotta buy a kitchen table. We gotta move this light. Oh, a bee got in. See that bee? Mm -hmm. We gotta move this light. Oh, and we have some spots where the roof is leaking. We had the roof resealed, but the parts that are vaulted are all leaking. It rained a lot while we were here. Nothing to report in the living room, except for air conditioning and it's painted. Same in here. There's my cokey frog dude. Uh, this shower just has cold water. I don't think we're gonna be able to fix that. And carport, nothing to report out here. There's supposed to be a wall here to differentiate and I was gonna build a bar here, hasn't happened. And still no pool. We have had, I don't know, three pool contractors come here, give us prices that vary greatly. And then they never call us back. And we've called probably 10 other pool contractors that just don't return phone calls. So I don't know if a pool's ever happening. I might just buy a, a ghetto above ground pool and build a really badass bar and make it the backyard super cool. But that is the tour of the house. And that's where we are after eight months of construction. Um, maybe I'll do a video just to show you all the problems that we've had because we don't live here and the things that have happened from not being here. That's our biggest challenge is not being here. And like things like the cabinets being installed the wrong color. We called the cabinet company and he was just like, well, um, the guy who builds the cabinets misunderstood. And so he built them the way he wanted to. He didn't look at the plans and we're like, that's not a Jeff problem. That is a you problem. What are you going to do to fix it? And he's like, I don't know, I'll call you back. So we'll see what happens with that. Future updates to follow. So uh, if you enjoy this type of content, if you like the property tour, you like watching the remodel updates, if you're interested in Puerto Rico real estate, I have many more videos. Go on my channel and check them out. Um, we can see the video if you're interested in the numbers of how much we paid for the house, how much the remodel cost. All the numbers are in one of my previous videos. I'll link to it up here somewhere and so anyway so subscribe to the channel if you like this content be sure you hit the like button down there if you like the video and we'll be keeping you updated on the progress of the house so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one